Hey groupies, welcome back to Form of Therapy. Welcome back to another listening party. And this is a listening party for Stray Kids' final Clay album, the Clay Levanter album. I am super stoked for this. Uh, before people, you know, blow up my comments, yes, I do know that Pangshan actually mentioned me in one of their V-Live sessions. I'm very much aware. Thank you to Chan for acknowledging that. Um, I'm actually very surprised. Like, he apparently knows that, like, I've been to their shows and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm a huge Stray Kids fan. <laughs> That's why. Um, Chan, you make incredible work. And it is really only my honor to be able to even critique and review and even witness Stray Kids content. Very few people, especially at a young age, is so gifted and talented. So, um shout out to chan for shouting me out um chan has been and it's very cool that he would do such a thing he not only acknowledged me i know previously he acknowledged umu from react to the k um i think it's really cool that he did that so thank you very much um so we're gonna be checking out the clay levanter album a lot of people have been requesting me to do this and if you have been noticing on my channel i've been doing more listening parties because i'm just trying to get this out for you guys because you know, I'm just trying to provide more content in general. Now, we have... Ooh, how many songs on this album? There are seven tracks, but we're going to be checking out five tracks because we've already seen Double Knot and we've already seen Levanter. So then we're going to be checking out Stop, Booster, Astronaut, Sunshine, and You Can Stay. Now, before we begin this listening party, this listening party is actually... Brought to you by the Stray Kids Tour, presented by Subculture and Collab Asia. So Stray Kids is going on a world tour, and I want to promote the U.S. leg of the tour. They're going to be making stops at New York, Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, Miami, Phoenix, San Jose, Los Angeles. There are still tickets available, but they are going away fast. So if you want to see Stray Kids live in concert, tickets are available in the description of this video in the link down below. Be sure to get your tickets and go see Stray Kids live. They are coming soon. I am going to be going to the Los Angeles stop for sure. So if you guys see me at the Stray Kids show, feel free to say hi. I know a lot of people get nervous. Uh, I went to another concert recently and I saw a couple tweets. People saying, the, oh, I just saw PD from Former Therapy, but I was too nervous to say hi. I didn't know if I should bother them or not. Guys, as much as I go to these shows to see the artists, I primarily also go to meet you guys because I want to see you guys. I do all of this for you guys. So be sure. So so if you want to see Stray Kids, if you want to see me, go ahead and get tickets to go see Stray Kids on tour. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you to Subculture Entertainment and Collab Asia for making this possible. Now we're going to begin the listening party. We're going to be starting with the first song. This is Stop. Stop. Very reminiscent of like side effects. Not as jarring. Ooh, I really like this part. It almost kind of makes it feels like a, like a dance, like a dance track. Not the not the rest of the song, but just that one part. Three chords is really good. Three chords is on like an upwards note, so it feels like a lot more inspiring. Hold on, this is a dance song. I'll go wherever I wanna go. 
Everything about this, the setup is like a dance song. Okay, this is secretly a dance song. I feel like the chorus doesn't drop like your typical dance song, but especially just like hearing some of the um, the random little small vocal hooks. Like let's let's go back this part. Well, that's double knot. Hold on, right here. Just like those small little vocal hooks and even like this part here. Even the stuff in the background there. It, I feel like pop dance music in the Western music industry, maybe in like the early to mid 2010s, this was kind of like a popular sound during that time. They don't have like the typical drop of like a dance song. It doesn't have like that house beat. This is more this is more like a dance production but done in a very Stray Kids-esque style. Stray Kids goes for the smoother, sort of the deeper, darker sounds. So this is a very interesting start to the album. Okay. Next up we have Booster. Hmm. Very curious. Stop is Stop's a very good introductory song. It's great. In fact, I like the fact that it doesn't really drop. Builds up hype really well, but it depends on how the rest of this album is going to go. So let's see how Booster plays out. It's hard. I like that. I love the progression of this song. I love the progression during the pre-chorus. I love how it picks up. 
만만치 않아 않아 느려져도 난 I over over take it all 빛보다 빠른 나보고 위 벌어져 지켜봐 눈 깜빡한 사이에 one step ahead I oh I 거센 바람이 휘몰아쳐도 I'm gonna ride Booster is fun. Oh man, Booster is one of those very fun, powerful, lively, impactful songs that I've been waiting for. Um, not that Stray Kids hasn't had anything like that in the past year. Um, obviously, they've had a lot of very powerful tracks, but Booster, it it has this um, very in-your-face kind of um, burning youth feeling to it. This this um, this sound very similar to Stray Kids is My Pace. My Pace is one of my Stray Kids, uh, one of my favorite Stray Kids songs. And I just like that kind of like, that ambitious sound in some of their songs. You know, like Stop was a little bit more like held back, controlled, reserved. But Booster is just like very shouty, very in your face. Feels almost like a battle cry. Love songs like that. Booster was very fun. Um, let's listen to Astronaut. I feel like this might go the more sentimental route. We'll see. Yeah. Feels a lot more sentimental, especially like the keys. The keys are a lot more softer. These are like very nostalgic. I feel like they remind me of like 2010. A lot of this album, I feel like, reminds me of like 2010 pop songs. So let's jump the much as so I'm brave, I'm great. Got it, nigga motor had an okay. They're doing an interesting effect with um the voices here. So the song's called Astronaut, which when you think of the word astronaut, you think of space, you think of like a very big, open, very freeing feeling. And the way they're actually like filtering out his voice there, it has like this small little echo that kind of makes his it feels like his voice is like stretching out a little bit further than the original recording i like that that little echoing effect kind of makes it feel like he's in a very like he's recording this in a very large room almost like you know when you're an astronaut you're in space so it almost feels very very otherworldly not otherworldly like just like very much like he's in space or just like something bigger and larger than life in that moment Oh, okay, this is a little bit more like a dance track. Oh. Oh, this is a Oh, this is a dance pop track. A lot of the song seems to lend really well to the rapping. 
It's probably because the rhythm for this song is actually a lot more lively than most of their songs. Okay, Astronaut, very fun, very fun. Astronaut actually plays out like a dance track. It's a little bit more of a fun Western pop dance song. Again, kind of reminiscent of something from like the 2010 pop era. I really like it. It's very fun. Suits Stray Kids' style very well, too. It has a very... The colorful, the color, like the colors of Astronaut, it, it's, it really only fits, I feel like, with a youthful group. So I think it works really well for Stray Kids. Um, not the route I was expecting for a song called Astronaut. I mean, I expected something that would be a little bit more sentimental. And this is definitely in the, I would say this is like sentimental pop. But I didn't think it would be actually like straight up fun and happy almost and lively. Um, it's a very feel-good song. Let's listen to Sunshine. Seems to be another sentimental song, but it's sentimental in a very different way. Ooh. There's like this pattern in the background, it's very faint. It's like this kind of like this rolling pattern. Wow, this is a very beautiful beat. The high voice with the auto tune gives a little bit of a different feeling. Ooh. The song feels a lot more ethereal, a little bit softer, a little warmer. Quite a bit of auto tune in this song. The synth during this part, during the pre-chorus, feels like so almost heavenly, almost angelic. It's very warm, it's very inviting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money up again, 
nice nice sunshine very beautiful very warm um it kind of has like it's it's a little it has a little bit of a bittersweet touch to it like it's very warm but i feel like a faint sadness to the song um let me actually look up the lyrics for this one um sunshine stray kids Mm. Mm, I see. She could Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So there are lyrics like 시끄러운 도시 속에서도 yeah yeah yeah. 하고 싶은 대로 내 마음대로 yeah yeah yeah. 예쁜 좋은 그늘 yeah, it's it's finding a peace within the chaos, um, finding a peace in a noisy place. It's actually kind of very beautiful. The the there is a sentimental sadness to the lyrics, but finding a beauty within the sadness is sort of where this song lies. So. The fact that that came through, even without listening to the lyrics, um, just audibly, just goes to show you how good the production on this actually is. Uh, let's check out the last song on the album. This is You Can Stay. <laughs> Sounds like it's gonna be a little bit uplifting. Uh, I like this bass a lot. The bass also gives this like a very good, warm, fuzzy feeling. Catchy. <laughs> I feel like the pitch on their vocals is a little bit tweaked, especially during the rapping. Oh, this is very inspiring. I like it. Oh, that's nice. That pause. Oh. Oh, more. Yogi 
that was a very inspiring, very uplifting song. That's a great way to not only end this EP, that's a great final song, but it's also a great way to close out the Clay series. The whole Clay series, um, the description on iTunes is Stray Kids, uh, the, the Clay series ends, Stray Kids uh, have now grown up, or like they're now adults, something like that. And this song is a perfect song that encapsulate the experiences of kind of like coming out of the darkness and like feeling good from it you know if you think about just the progression of the track list of this album from stop to double knot which are the much darker songs then levanter which is a culmination of a lot of their previous songs and comebacks put together and then booster being like way more ambitious and in your face astronaut and astronaut being feel good and happy and sunshine sort of pulling together that bittersweet feeling and then you can stay ending on a high note it's like everything is coming to a close it's like a curtain call but it's it's a happy ending and i really like that i i think you can stay is the perfect song to end this album and the clay series in general this is this has been a wild ride like this has been this this is a very beautiful album i would say mm, i really like stop and i really like booster i think those two would be my favorites but I do also like Sunshine as well. Sunshine has like this, like like I said, it has like this bittersweet kind of like kind of sad tone to it, even though it's such a happy song. And that's what that that's where I lie. That is like that is my ish. I love happy sound. I, I I love happy songs that have like a little bit of a sad bittersweet sound to them. So. Those three are definitely my favorites, but the other songs are fantastic as well. Stray Kids, very curious as to what they're going to be doing going forward with the Clay series coming to a close. Obviously, they're doing this world tour. I hope they do take a break. They take a break not only to uh, get some rest because they have been on it since their debut, but to also take a step back and plan out their next phase and their next series of comebacks and events. And the tone that they want to hit, because if the Clay series has come to an end and this is about straight kids growing up, I I assume like something's got to change, right? Whether it's their sound or the tone, something has got to evolve a little. So I do hope straight kids take the time to rest after this tour, and I'm excited for what the next comeback is going to be after the fact. I can't wait to see Stray Kids in concert. I hope they at least perform some of these new B-sides at the concert. I'm not sure if they will, but if you want to find out, be sure to get tickets to go see Stray Kids. Remember, use the link in the description below. Thank you, Subculture and Collab Asia, once again, for making this possible. And I'll see you guys at the concert. Peace.